A toy about to have a baby, one that needs a razor, and a life-ending disease. In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 creepy kids' toys that should be banned. Number 10, Furby. Last year's revival of the Furby toy was a huge hit, but parents are now reporting unexpected and unwelcome surprises. The adorable robotic creature can suddenly transform into a foul-mouthed, insult-shouting machine with a slightly seedy male voice. And the worst part? There's no off switch. One mother lamented, it talks non-stop in a high-pitched, head-splitting voice. It screams, flatulates, and has no off switch. It needs to be unscrewed to take the batteries out and make it stop. But amidst the chaos, there's a silver lining. The mother received not one, but two of the noisy toys from a friend. So now her son's beloved companion must accompany them everywhere they go, whether they like it or not. Looks like the Furby has become a permanent member of the family. Just don't let it join in on any important conversations unless you want to hear some inappropriate remarks. Number 9. Kinetic Sand. Kinetic Sand, the ultimate sensory toy. This silicone-coated sand may be satisfying to squish, but it's not exactly safe. Forget about poisoning. The real danger is in the risk of bowel obstruction and constipation. You might even have to kiss your beloved sand goodbye with an unexpected surgery to remove it from your insides. But wait, there is more. Not only can Kinetic Sand wreak havoc on your body, it can also turn your home into a slippery skating rink. One mom found herself slip-sliding away after her little one got his hands on the stuff. And if you think cleaning it up is the answer, think again. You might end up doing the splits like a pro figure skater. So if you want to combine the fun of playing with sand and the thrill of a potential emergency room visit, then Kinetic Sand is the perfect toy for you. Just don't say we didn't warn you. Number 8. Talking Puzzle Educational puzzles that make sounds can be a parent's best friend or worst nightmare. Just ask the unlucky souls who've had to deal with the possessed pet sounds puzzle. This particular puzzle seems to have a mind of its own, making noises even when it wasn't being used. The spooky sounds frightened some of the parents' house guests who thought that ghosts were playing with puzzles all night long. According to Kendall Oster, a man from Westchester County, New York, the puzzle's incessant rib lasted for two whole days. Francis Garcia, who works in marketing, was equally puzzled by the random and uncontrolled sounds the toy made. Luckily, Ann Altman, a mom in New York City, found a solution to the possessed puzzle problem. Throw them in the tub! As she explained, we obliterated a few of those puzzles by throwing them in the tub. They stopped talking. Let's hope they didn't wake up any rubber duckies. If you think these were creepy, things are about to get weirder. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Slime. Introducing the slimy sensation of 1976. Mattel's Slime, a non-toxic blob of squishy, sticky goodness packaged in a trash can. Originally made of guar gum, this oozy substance came in various colors and even included rubber worms, insects, and eyes. But with every toy company now having their own branded slime, some have taken it too far. I mean, who needs a three-pound tub of slime? My poor owl toy is still recovering from being slimed, and I'm not the only one feeling the slime rage. Comedy writer Anna Lane from Los Angeles hates slime so much that she's banned it from her house. And mom Diana Metzger from Maryland had to bid farewell to her carpet after slime invaded her home. It's simple, folks. You can either have nice things or you can have slime. And let's face it, sometimes slime just needs to be left in the trash can where it belongs. Here's a joke for you. Why did the slime cross the road to get to the disgusting side? <laughs> Number six, my first vape. So apparently there was a toy designed for young kids that resembled a vape. Yeah, you heard that right. A vape for babies. Who comes up with these ideas? It's like someone thought, hey, let's get the kids started on vaping early before they can even learn to walk. But wait, it gets better. The toy was called My First Vape. Now you might be thinking, how on earth did this toy make it through the checks and into stores? Was there a lack of common sense involved? Well, it turns out the toy never actually existed. It was just a social experiment by an advertising professional named Adam Padilla, who wanted to draw attention to the issue of kids being influenced to start smoking at a young age. So no need to panic. Your child won't be puffing on a toy vape anytime soon. But let's hope no one gets any ideas from this and decides to actually create such a thing. I mean, what's next? My first martini shaker for toddlers? Okay, that's maybe taking it too far, but you get the idea. Number 5. Laughing Lily Doll Introducing the Laughing Lily Doll, the perfect toy to keep your kids up at night and give you nightmares too. This innocent-looking doll may seem like a harmless plaything, 
but it's hiding a sinister secret. With its unnaturally wide smile and oversized eyes, the laughing Lily doll has become an object of terror for both kids and adults alike. Reports have surfaced of the doll randomly emitting blood-curdling laughter, following people with its eyes, and even whispering strange things, all while being switched off and without batteries. Parents have also reported that playing with this doll has caused their children to develop behavioral issues, such as aggression and mood swings. And let's not forget about the nightmares of being chased by the doll. It's time to ban the laughing Lily doll before it causes any more harm to our mental health and turns our homes into horror movie sets. After all, who needs sleep and sanity when you can have a creepy possessed doll in your house? Number 4. Six Finger Toys from the 1960s were definitely a little bit weird, and nothing illustrates that more than the enigmatic Six Finger toy by Topper. It was made of plastic and shaped like a finger. The idea was to hold it between your index finger and thumb, thus giving you the illusion of an extra finger. But that wasn't even the weirdest part. Depending on which end of the six finger you installed, it could either function as a ballpoint pen or a dart gun with some serious firepower. Now, if you're thinking that sounds like a recipe for disaster, you're not wrong. The dart gun feature led to a few too many trips to the hospital for some over-enthusiastic kids. Unfortunately, these injuries also brought the six fingers short-lived reign to an end. Despite its safety hazards, the six finger toy has become a cult classic among collectors and nostalgia enthusiasts who appreciate its strange and unique design. On the bright side, at least it gave parents an excuse to tell their kids to stop pointing fingers at each other. Starting now, things get even creepier. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Ebola Plush Toy Looking for a cuddly toy to soothe your fears about a life-ending virus? Look no further than Drew Oliver's Giant Microbes Ebola Virus Plush Toy. Yes, you heard that right. A plushie that resembles the microbe responsible for Ebola, if it were magnified a million times. Don't let the little plastic eyes fool you. Ebola is a rare disease that still claims lives each year. But hey, at least you can hug it and feel better, right? In all seriousness, the folks at Drew Oliver's Giant Microbes created these toys as a way to educate and bring a bit of humor into the world of microbiology. So if you're a fan of biology or just love weird and macabre plush toys, the Ebola virus plush is a must-have. And if anyone questions your taste in decor, just tell them it's for educational purposes. That always makes it seem less creepy, right? And if you're feeling really adventurous, why not collect them all? Who wouldn't want a whole set of plushies that resemble various diseases? It's like the nightmare version of a Beanie Babies collection. Alright, that was a terrible joke, but you get the idea. Number 2. You Can Shave the Baby Doll So apparently there's a doll out there that wants you to shave it. Yeah, you heard that right. The Shave the Baby Doll comes with a bright orange tuft of hair on its ankles, armpits, and even its private areas. Yeah, no thanks. First of all, babies don't need shaving. That's just a fact. And secondly, who in their right mind would give a baby a razor? Here you go, kid. Go ahead and shave your legs. Not happening. And let's be real. Shaving is already enough of a hassle for us adults. Why would we want to do it to a doll? As one Redditor so eloquently put it, there is no reason in the world to shave a baby, much less train young children to do so. I mean, what's next? Wax the toddler or thread the infant? Let's leave the baby grooming to their parents and let the dolls do their usual activities, like pretending to eat and crying uncontrollably. Let's just stick to the dolls who don't require a trip to the salon. I don't think any of us wants to play beauty salon with a baby doll. Number 1. Baby's First Baby Doll The concept of babies having babies is a cringe-worthy idea that no one should ever attempt to turn into a toy. While creating educational toys that teach kids about pregnancy is an important initiative, designing a doll baby that was giving birth is definitely not the way to go. Don't get us wrong, we love babies just as much as the next person, but seeing a doll baby with a pregnant belly is just plain cringe. Creepy. Who thought this was a good idea? Certainly not us. And it doesn't stop there. To make things worse, the doll's fetus is also pregnant. That's like a nightmare-inducing toy. Who in their right mind would buy this for their kid? We're all for creative playtime, but let's keep the pregnant babies in our nightmares, not in our toy collections. Plus, imagine the awkward conversations with parents. We don't know about you, but we're definitely adding this toy to our no-no list. Just because we can create something doesn't mean we should. The idea of a pregnant doll is not only gross, but extremely misleading. Let's keep it out of the toy aisle. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.